not included in the script because we realized at the last second that me and me we both kind of look like exactly the same dude so yeah just um realized well at the moment our colors kind of messed up because that i want to see a black rat and gray too and you know how to say well yeah see i got little antenna things on my head and then i have bigger ones i'm better my butt, you better. So yeah, just noticed. We just figured this out like last second, so it's not in the script. Yeah. Anyway, my man of France present the North America USA English version of the latest movie by Emmy Leeson. The Mega Man and Friends, an Emmy version of The Scream of the Man. Um, Mega Man? Hmm, what? Um, uh, you're not doing a story about Hitler. Oh, 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 I grew a mustache for nothing. Oh, the drama. <laughs> I'll be right back. I'll be shaving my mustache. Hello! <laughs> so, what are we doing anyway? Yeah, I don't know what we're doing. Duh, you imbecile. We're doing a much more sophisticated work. You mean? Yes. We're doing an ancient story. How Joe Mama? Ooh. No, it's called Pygmalion in Galatea. It's about a woman hater who sculpts the perfect woman and falls in love with her. Now presenting the dude in his statue. With me as the dude and the narrator. I'm the statue. I'm one of the dude's friends. And I'm... What? Uh, I don't really want to state my part. Oh, you, you're the bunch of gators. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. <laughs> And Pika is Aphrodite. And Lou is her assistant. Cool, y'all. Now to present the deer and his statue. Now, once upon a time, there was a dude who didn't like girls. I don't like girls. They are stinky. All his friends tried to give him to get a wife. You do know you don't have to have kids. Tell 
don't have them. All that is a big, ugly mess. They don't fix the best. No cyclone! You don't need cyclone. You can have Star Wars with lightsabers if you join me. Who needs women? Yeah, you know what I mean, Jelly Bean? Um, do, um, dude, you know. Oh, sh oh, shut up, woman lover. I'm gonna go hang out with my m woman here, my homin, y'all. Peace out. I guess he knows the guy she's walking with is gay. Hey, Zeus, protect him. Dude, actually had no, I, no clue. That G dog was gay. He thought he just didn't like women. That thing didn't, women weren't any good. So, what are we gonna do? Well, I was thinking we could, well. Ew! No way, Jose! That's itchy! Well, with you. And we're a date a girl. A girl, a girl, a girl. <laughs> oh, don't go. I ain't never come back. Never. Never. Uh, never. Never, ever. Never, ever. Never, ever, ever. Never, ever. Crap, I lost track. We left that on. Never, ever, ever. Oh, yeah. Never, ever, ever. No, no. Wait. Oh, never mind. I'm out. Well, love is somewhat lasted. He brought sex you back. And dude walked home. He was reminded of that one episode of Family Guy when Peter had a plastic exam and thought he was raped. Ha <laughs> That was a funny episode. It's so stupid. I feel so smart. Funny. Yep. So it's some more cheese. The reality, dude is dumber than Peter from Family Guy, and Homer from The Simpsons put the other. Not mighty dumb. Dude felt lonely. <sighs> I'm so lonely. Whatever shall I do? Then dude got an idea. Holy crap, Burnley! That was a weird feeling. I wonder if that's what feels like to be smart. Here we go, I got out of here, I care my loneliness. I'll scope me a friend. Woohoo! Tomorrow, I'll invite my friends to my house and make them for money for scope and stuff. Then I'll buy scope and clay, paint, scope, dig my to make detail, and get the scope to action. Oh yeah, ending board, I'm here I come. The next day, he called his friend, his friend, no, the straight one. Hey, uh, hey, dude. How was your time with g dog? G for J, I learned. I tried to tell you. I just thought we were actually using lightsabers that go... <laughs> Not... Yeah, sucks to be true, dude. I know. Wanna come over to my house? The g dog Rub some of his gayness under you. What? JK, JK, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'll be over soon. Come, see ya. Hey, ya, Ruth. Yo, dude, what are we going gonna do? Star Wars, I have to not save us here. So well, now you gave me an item, I feel better. Can I buy the money? I want to scope the hot chick, so yeah.
Uh, how much? Come on. Why don't you just come on and grab with me? So they went and bought the stuff, and when Jude got home, he started right away on his perfect girly. Yay, hey, I'm gonna make a girly that's actually hot! Woohoo! So Jude worked to his max money. Every day and every night, non-stop, determined to make his dream girl. Oh, yo, that didn't, that he didn't hate. It took her many days and many nights to come up with how she would look. What? That's a freaking man? What is the problem? I had no idea in the world what to make her look like. Yep, I had no idea. But now after brainstorming for a whole week, I know what to make my fantasy woman look like. Now I can make her. But what he didn't know was that from not using a clay sculpture for such a long time, it became all dirty enough. They ain't have my nose stick, but at least I can, well at least I still have my receipt so I can exchange it for some better stuff. Crap, I did just show my hand, yeah. <laughs> so he went, so he went to the store and got an exchange for better clay. They had to accept because it was a 30 day money back guarantee. That was awesome. And they were at home, we ordered a McRoman Donald. Ordered out McRoman Donald, which is an old time McDonald. And he ordered a McRoman Donald, smiling me with a toy. I'm gonna give this to her when I finish my sculpture. So Dee went home and worked very hard on his, on his sculpture of the perfect girly. After a few days, a few nights, of unconsistent working with breaks to McRoman and Donald, and now he finished and painted her. Oh my god, I'm gonna the perfect woman in the world! Yeah! She would make Jesus, she would make Jesus straight, or at least fine. So good. I'm going to g dog over in this group to see her. Yeah, she's whatever. I still like you more, dude. Oh man, you're kind of so mean. Well, you can't help it to like ugly women or ugly women sculptured, sculptures, wasted cash. Well, you know, you guys know what? You can suck eggs. Damn dude kicked them out. For that, he treated his sculpture with love. He brought her Roman fries, Greek of cola, children tea, jewelry, my meal, my meal toys, dresses, everything a girl could want and could dream of having. And some other chat. His friends became worried about him, and they tried to help him as much as they could. Going nuts. Nope. Whatever, crazy, I'm out. Then, Drew tried to have a conversation with his stat with his statue, and that's when he realized she wasn't alive. Oh my God, she's not alive. Then he decided to go to Aphrodite's temple and pray to her. So he went up the mountain and had a temp had a temp that her temple was on top of. I'm almost a week to get up there. But he made it to our temple. Yeah! I made the temple I have got. Woohoo, y'all! When we got there, there was a ticket taker in our eye. So... Um... A drillion... Eight hundred seventy-five... Trillion, fourteen billion, three hundred seventy-eight million, five hundred and fifty-nine thousand two hundred ten feet long. No, just kidding. Only a hundred miles long. Yeah, it was a month till Valentine's Day, so they explained it. His number was five, five hundred forty-seven thousand one hundred twenty-nine. 
He was depressed. I am depressed. Wait, it was a week later when they called his number. Number. His number five four seven one two nine. Please come to the front desk. I'm gonna play half day. Oh, you're in the wrong line. You're in the push line. Play by hands. This way. Okay. Well, thanks. So, dude. To the other line. And you got a good chance to play to her. Please help me find true love. My statue is the love of my life. But she is inanimate. I pray for your help, almighty gods of love and sexiness. Went home. Went home. Well, I'm gonna be going home after being gone for like five weeks. What he... Oh, what he didn't know... Was... How as he walked home after that, he went to his house and went to his place. How hard is that thing know? Happy Papa Boo! Focus, focus! Oh, I remember. I took eat the banana and I'm here to stay. You have to eat your banana to stay. Then, champagne. She ran without a single dog and threatened she prepared. You know, pretty fine, you know, pretty fine, you know. Then you can't, oh, wait. When Duke came home, he was amazed. Holy oh, crap, I am amazed. You the pickle there, Holly. Welcome home, dude. I'm the up. Yay! Yep. Wow, you're so hot. So... Yeah.